Hello everybody and I hope you enjoyed the little replay. So uh, yeah, Orcus, it's not one of my... Orcus is not my forte, so I had to look a few things up. Uh, I did a little bit, a little changes here and there, but I think this is one of the better builds. It's consistent in its negations at the very least. So we're playing Triple Mech Knight, Triple Gear Suit, the Orcus Mech Knight. Double Nightmare, Double Skeleton, Double Brass Bombard, Double Wand, 
double crescendo, one babble and double return. That is basically uh, what we have for our orchestra package. The gear soup basically sets up our plays, we want to send Nightmare to the grave, so then we can banish it to send one, get Nightmare back with one, do some other shenanigans. Simple skeleton is rather obvious. It's a monster that can somebody show someone from the grave. And press Bomba is here for two reasons. Reason number one, it can special summon from the hand. Reason number two, it's a tuner. And the end. That, that's all. Crescendo is a negation, Babble is a babble, and Return is draw power. Next we have our danger package with double Nessie, double Chupacabra, triple Mothman, Suchinoko and Jackalope. This is here just so we can get more bodies on board. Draw some cards, send something to the grave if needed, that's about it. We're playing a small Phantom Knight package with one Silent Boots and double Fog Blade, since, well, Silent Boots can just get us one Fog Blade and we can get the other Fog Blade with, with Rusty Bodies, so that's about it. Now, Ruina Force is here because it's big, it's, it's awesome and it can be summoned from the grave. Gizma Karachi is another extender because it's fucking Gizma Karachi. Armageddon Knight is also here because, well, it's an extender in most cases. You can send a monster from the deck to the grave, it's a very good effect. Same with Dark Greffa. Codebreaker Zero, Zero Day is here because Codebreaker package. We're playing one Foolish Burial to send cards from uh, the deck to the grave, double Allure of Darkness because everything is dark. Double imp triple imperm and triple ash blossom because hand traps. For our extra deck, we have one Borrow World Savage Dragon, one Chaos Ruler. This is basically uh, the end of our uh, synchro package. And Borrow World Savage Dragon is here because Borrow World Savage Dragon and Chaos Ruler is uh, just another way to mill mo a shit ton of cards. And that's about it. I was thinking about playing some light monsters so I can special summon Chaos Roller as an additional extender, but those didn't actually work. Next we're playing double Gears 2 because it's Gears 2, one access code Toka to close games, one Darkness Metal because it's a monster that I can easily summon, one Orcostrian because why the fuck not, uh, one Vir Virus Swordsman, one Virus Berserker because Codebreaker package, one Long Gear Su, one Rusty Bartish, one Cherubini. Well, Cherubini is here because we have Jackalope, we have Tsuchinoko, and we have Symbol Skeleton, which are all level 3s. So basically, Cherubini is here to be made out of Tsuchinoko, Jackalope, maybe Silent Boots, maybe in very rare and desperate scenarios as Blossom, so I can send Symbol Skeleton to the graveyard. We're playing double Galatea because Galatea, and one Link Rebo because Token is level 1. That's about it when it comes to this deck. It's interesting. Very interesting, and that was actually my first time playing Orcus. It was blast in more way than one anyway that will be it for today thank you everyone for watching and i will see you in the next video jacob sign up peace